Welcome to my channel Math Ikab and I am Suresh Gurung. Let's go to the problem. Construct a rectangle. Give the name A, B, C and D. Construct two right angle triangle inside the rectangle and give the remaining point name E and F. Now, if the dimension of A is 7, ET is 24, PF is 15, then we have to find the magnitude of DC. So this is the question. So before going to the solution part, I would like to request you all to do it yourself with your own time, with your own method. Okay, by pausing the video and taking a screenshot of this photo. And when you got stuck, then come to the solution part. Okay. Now let's go to the solution part. Now this problem can be solved by three method. The first method is similarity of triangle method. Second is area of triangle method. And the third is trigonometry method. Okay, using this three method, we can solve this problem. Let me tell you about for the first method. Well, this method is already done by Presta Walker in Mind Your Decision channel, whose link is on the description below. Okay, so if you want to watch it, go to the link, which is in description. So I do here only two method. Second, area of triangle method and trigonometry method. So let's do first area of triangle method. Now the dimension of ED is 24, the dimension of A is 7, and the dimension of BF is 15. Now look this triangle AED is a right angle triangle. So we can use here the Pythagoras theorem and using Pythagoras theorem we can evaluate the magnitude of AD is 25 by using Pythagoras theorem. So since ABCD is a rectangle so the magnitude of BC is also 25 and also triangle BFC is also right angle triangle so using Pythagoras theorem we can find the value of FC is 20 okay now construct a line passing through F and parallel to the breadth of the rectangle and the give the name of the line is H and G give the name H G now look the triangle B F C okay the triangle B F C you get the area of triangle BFC is called to half of BF and into FC. Now substituting the value, we get 1 upon 2 into 15 into 20, which is 150. So the area of triangle BFC is 150. But look at the figure it is also half FC into BC isn't it 
it is also half of fc into bc and we have the magnitude of bc is 25 and by simplifying we get the magnitude of fc is 12 okay now then f g c is also a right angle triangle then by using pythagoras theorem we can find the magnitude of g c is what 16 by using pythagoras theorem the value of g c is 16 which means the value of SD is also 16 because HGCD is also a part of rectangle and itself it is a rectangle. Now then join a line A and F. Okay, join A and F. Then triangle AFD is triangle AFD the area of triangle AFD is half of HF FH into AD isn't it half of FH into AD then substituting the value no also you can see here triangle AFD is also half of AE and FT AE and FT now uh, 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 cancel and AE is 7 and AD is 25 and squaring both side okay squaring both side we get 49 into fd square is equal to fh square into 625 and look the triangle fht is also a right angle triangle fht is also a right angle triangle so fd square is fh square plus sd square by pythagoras theorem Okay, now simplifying SD is 16 so as the square is 256 and simplifying we get FH square is equal to 49 into 256 upon 576 which means FH is equal to 14 upon 3 FH is equal to 14 upon 3 now HG okay now the HG is FH plus HG and FH is 14 upon 3, FG is 12, which is 50 upon 3. Since HG, CD is a rectangle, so DC is equal to HG. So it means it is gives the value of DC is 15 upon 3. So the answer is 50 upon 3. So using area of triangle method, we use, we solve this problem. Now the next method is trigonometry method which is very a shortcut method here. For this, uh, okay now we have already calculated the dimension of this area. This is 12 and this is 16. Now join FM then we get what? We get FM is also 16 and MC is also 12. Because this will become a short rectangle okay now this will become also a right angle triangle FMD let this angle be theta then this angle will be also theta now from this big right angle triangle AUD we have the ratio 10 theta is equal to 7 upon 24. Similarly, from this small right angle triangle FDM, we have D, 10 theta is equal to DM upon 16. So this is also the ratio of 10 theta, this is also the ratio of 10 theta. So we can equalize them. And for by this, 
we get the magnitude of dm is, is 14 upon 3. So now the DC is dm plus mc and dm is 14 upon 3, mc is 2 bell and yes, by this we get the magnitude of DC 50 upon 3. So it is it's a very short cut method to find the magnitude DC. So in this way we can solve this problem by three method triangle of similarity method area of triangle method and trigonometry method among them trigonometry method is short so if you like my video please subscribe for more such type of video and also like and comment and also share it to your friend okay and thank you for watching